What is going on guys? Today we're talking about battery testing. This is a buddy of mine's truck. He's deployed. His thing has been parked at his girlfriend's house. Um, she has asked me to check the battery. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it. This is the system I use. It is made by Launch. It is a BST360. It's actually a Bluetooth tester. Got your power, got your ground. You hook up to it, it Bluetooth connects to your phone. This thing is super simple and pretty inexpensive. I will throw a link to that right up here. You can get it off Amazon. Um, currently it's about 60 bucks, so it's not too bad. So to hook this thing up, all we've got to do is connect it to our battery. And then we just go right over the app. As soon as it connects, it's gonna pull up and this is gonna say it's gonna do a floating charge voltage test. Then we come in, we say what kind of battery it is. This will do AGMs, gel batteries, lithium batteries. This is just a regular battery. It's gonna ask us for the call out. So most of your batteries are gonna be in cold cranking amps. So we're gonna go click on the cold cranking amp CCA. And then we need to go look on the battery to see what the cold cranking amp rating of this battery is to input it into the app. Now the cold cranking amp is always gonna be called out on the battery itself. Uh, this one is 700. So then we come back into the app. I'm gonna put 700, start test. Now it's gonna walk through and show, we've got 82% battery power the battery life is actually 7%. The measured starting current is only 190 cold cranking amps. So uh, right at the bottom it tells you, please replace your battery. Now with this, it's also gonna let us go through and test the starting system as well as the charging system to make sure the battery is the only problem. Okay, now we've come into the vehicle. We're gonna do the starting test. It's gonna tell us to turn off all electrical loads. Hit confirm and it's gonna Give us another prompt, hit confirm, and we start the vehicle. And it's gonna tell us how long it took to start. The starting voltage was only 7.6, so starting voltage is low, which we'd expect with a battery going bad. And then the final thing we can do is the charging health test. It's gonna tell us to reset our hardware, start the engine before the test, Then it's gonna have a step on the accelerator to 2500 RPM and hold it for five seconds. Okay, then it tells us um, on load voltage 13 and a half, 13.6 with no load, ripples good, everything looks good. When we hit end the test, it's gonna come up and give us a complete rundown of what we tested, battery, starter, as well as charging system. Another cool thing that this app offers is if your phone is connected to a printer, you can print this report, or you can even come up here to share, and I can email it, I can text it over to whoever's vehicle I'm testing. We can also come back and look at historical data. So if we go test report, it's gonna show all the batteries we've tested. We can go in and look at the results of Whatever previous tests we've done gives you a date and a time. So as you can see, it's a super simple test, inexpensive tool, but it's really powerful. Gives you the ability to test your battery, your charging system, as well as your starting system all at home. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I'm gonna go break the bad news that they need to buy a battery. See you guys next time.